Okay, so the first part we talked about how log base bx equals to y is the same thing as b to the y power equals to x. Now we're in part two. I'm going to discuss the next theorem, which is log base b, and you have x times y inside here, equals to log base bx plus log base by. And a lot of problems we have when you're solving logarithms, you like to group them together. So you go from here to here, you go backwards. I mean, you can do it both ways, you should recognize it. But the majority of problems when you're solving an equation for logarithms, you're going from here to here. But you should recognize it both ways either way, okay? So number one, we're going to go through three problems here. And we're only going to do this one and the next uh, section we're going to go here later. So the first one is log base 3, 7 plus log base 3, x equals the log base 3, 14. We don't really have to worry about the bases here because they're all the bases are the same. So all we worry about is the 7x and the 14, okay? So what does it say here is that when you're adding the logarithms, okay, like this, you see how log base 3, 7 plus log base 3x is kind of like this similar? It, you multiply them. You can combine them together. So you can write this as log 3 base 3, 7 times x. See how that works? So you're going from here to here. So you have 7x, 7x. But you're working from here to here instead. It's just going backwards. That's all it is. Okay? So 7x, the bases are the same. So now you can set these to equal. So 7x equals to 14. Divide 7 on both sides. And you'll get x equals 2. Okay? Pretty simple problem. I mean, all you gotta do is really 7x equals to 14 if you know that theorem. Okay? So number 2. You have log base 10, 7, plus log base 10, parentheses, n minus 2, equals to log base 10, 6n. So same thing. All the bases are the same, so you don't have to worry about it. I mean, as you can say 10, it can say a million. It doesn't really matter if the bases are all the same for this problem. So what do you do? So you have log base bx plus log base by, right, is equal to log base bx times y. So it's the same thing. You see that? So that equals to log base 10, okay, 7 times n minus 2. See how that works? You just multiply it. This, this is your property now. So now the bases are the same, now you can set these equal, right? So that's 7n minus 2 equals to 6n. Then this is your property, 7 times n minus 14, right, equals to 6n. What I do on both sides, I'm all, I, I can subtract uh, n, 6n on both sides, so you get n equals to, well, let's go back one step, n minus 14, I don't want to go too fast, equals to 0, right? And then add 14 on both sides, and you get n equals to 14. Okay? So, you know, it's not, it's not too hard, you just have to learn how to do it backwards and forwards. You know, when you multiply numbers in here, you split them up into two logs. So you're going backwards right now. So now you're number three. Now the logs are in different sides of the equation. So you gotta think about it. I, I, I chose this problem for a reason because a lot of people are like so used to like, oh, all the logs are nice and clean, it's on one side, you know, it's on one side. So what happens now? Oh no, they're on the different sides of the equation. So what do you do? What do you think you do? Well, all you do is you just subtract it to the other side, right? You didn't move it to the other side. This is algebra. You just move it. Okay, so I subtract that, and I guess we're going to go with this theorem. I just realized it's a different theorem. Okay, so you yeah, add one on both sides, right? So basically all I did here was I moved the log base 2, y minus 2 to this side, okay? And I added one to the other side. So now it looks a little more familiar, right? Is, is this subtraction? I'm going to go... Uh, with more of these problems later on, it's really the, the only difference it is is that one's subtraction is x divided by y, one's plus addition is x times y. That's the only difference it is, okay? So, what do you do here? Well, it says y plus 2, log base 2, y plus 2, and the logs, remember they're same, the, ba the same basis, right? So, what does it say here? You say when you subtract, you divide, divide the, the logs. So, all you gotta do is write it as a division. 
Oops. Okay, let's see. Equals to one. Okay? So now I have log base two to y plus two over y minus two equals to one. But don't you write let me write this two somewhere else because it's starting to look like there's a square here, it's not this base two here. Okay. Okay. So remember the old the last part? Remember b to the y equals to x? It's the same thing. Look at the look at it. You can just do this, right? The little hook thing is like a little counterclockwise hook. So you can write this as, let me write it over here, two to the one power equals to this, y plus two over y minus two, right? Okay, and then what do you do here? Two to one power is just two, right? And then you multiply y minus two on both sides to get rid of the denominator, so you'll get two times y minus 2 equals to y plus 2, right? Now I distrib distribute it. 2y minus 4 equals to y plus 2. Now I, let's say, let's, let's, let's subtract y on both sides, OK? Uh, now I should add 4 on both sides, OK? So now I divide by 2. 2y equals 6, so y equals to 3. And that is your answer. And this is the harder problem of, of the three. And I chose this for a reason, just because they're on different sides, and a lot of people don't see. All you got to do is move it to the other side and then just follow the theorem. Your goal always is to make the logs on the same side, so you can use these theorems. You're either multiplying, you're dividing, you know, in the middle. Or if there if two logs, you're subtraction or adding, then you know what you're doing. You're going backwards. Okay, in this case, we've been going backwards all the time. And you always have to remember this little hook counterclockwise. I always, that's how I always remembered it. And I'll tell you this, I've done logarithms probably now over, what, 15, 20 years now. And I've used that mnemonic device since then. I've never forgotten it since then. <laughs> so it works. It's a very good mnemonic device. So, and uh, I'm going to go over more minus and plus problems later on. We're just going to talk mostly about these two sections. And then after that, we're going to go with the exponents. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions.